flip side of what you did. Like some people trying to spin off like some series. <laughs> Flickering. Well, that's the camera picking it up. SR Film Studios here. This is what it looks like 
for editing the video. See all the films right there. Titles, scoreboard. Yep. It's just a streamline. Even edits for the special effects like video effects and the transitions, visual effects as well. Here are the video files. This is where you can view the video. So much work has been done in this method. But back in the old days when I used to do video editing, it wasn't this method. Nope. It was the analog way, which is much harder than doing it digital way. And fun at the same time. But the old way, you make a mistake, repeat. Well, erase and then re record. But if you make a mistake onto DVD, you gotta restart all over. Either you delete or you get a new disc if it's not rewritable. So this is how we do it now, but back then it wasn't like this. I would do a demonstration one day on how I did did my videos in the old days before 2018. Because t late 2018 is when I started this. I gave up in the year 2017. Which is a long, long time. It took a, lo a while. I haven't been editing for like a year, like 2017 till 2018, late 2018. Well, that's all I have to say. This state of the game, this has been going on for like around 10 hours, 10 or 11 hours. Still going. This was on last night. We still got 59 minutes remaining until... It's finished. This movie is indeed the total length. 2 hours 31 minutes and 8 seconds long. It's like moving one. Looks like it's moving at least one or more frames at a time. Maximum picture quality. 1920 1080 pixels with 30,000 K bits per second. Audio Proto 6 channels. Yep, at this, we could, if this was any higher than HD, which is 1080 pixels, we can go higher than this for the quality. 4K quality. This would take very, very long. And the pass as well. If that was a two pass, it would take longer than this. That's your other disadvantage. Time is what kills.
Just behind the scenes stuff. Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> I'm recording live from the Donia Hills High School. <laughs> Tonight is the football game with Nordonia versus what? Versus Stowe. It would be a very bad sports game. Yeah. I bet it is. It's my very bad voice of a sports announcer. <laughs> Here's the band right now. They exaggerate everything. <laughs> well, there you got the band. You've seen this before, and you'll see it tonight. Yeah, you see it tonight. And that's their, that's our opening. And there's, and there's Julie. Oh, wrong button. You're really bad with this, aren't you? No, I'm just not holding it right. There you go. There you go. Is it? No. Wait, tell me. Wait, do you know? At one point, I thought it was like her husband. Like, literally. Oh, that's, that's too dozen. Uh, but it's like always a different person, right? Yeah, they always do it every year. Yeah. So it will always be a mystery. Because it's more than one person. Mm, around six, almost sixty four. Let's see. Yeah, almost sixty four inches tall. Around five. If I was you would be around three in a quarter five three and a quarter at least I've been holding that in all day. Oh boy. They broke the store for Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Oh, it's The athletic department would like to thank everyone for your attendance tonight. Please use caution to walk into the
his first, first team foul of the half. Aaron Phillips hit the line two shots. Okay, thank you. That's okay. As you can see, right. is when they stand up. Right. The further down you get that way. So they'll yell numbers mm -hmm. and I'll yell, you know. Okay. Yeah. I think he's blocked everything Yeah. Out. Sorry, I was just looking for a roster I couldn't find. I didn't know if you wanted to. Sorry.
in the Hugh Griffith Memorial Gymnasium for tonight's varsity basketball game between the visiting Highland Hornets and your Northumbria Knights. The players, coaches, and administrators from both schools, as well as the game officials, are guests of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and are to be treated with respect by all in attendance. Yes. 
Jesus.
studying music education. Congratulations, Ella. For this evening's basketball game between the visiting explorers of Hudson High School and your Nardonia Knights. The players, coaches, and administrators for both schools, as well as the game officials, are guests of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and are to be treated with respect by all in attendance. Please remember that this. Here's another behind the scenes of editing for the basketball games and the football games of the graphics. But for this part, I will show you how I made the graphics for the behind the scenes takes. If I could find my other video I would also include it here as well but again here it is if I were to look at this scene with the uh, boys varsity basketball Nordonia versus Highland look at Lance he's saying hello to the camera the uh, yeah he was all right, this is how we added this element. Let me unlock this video. And this one as well. So this is the main video right here. The main video with no background whatsoever. And here's the element of the background. You can see there is no background in this, it's just clear. So if you take, remove this, you have this. The original video with the background. Take out the original video, you just have the background. So yeah, how I did this was I did it mobile. By putting this on... A Google Slides, I'll show you. There we go. There we go. Something like this. This is all my graphics right here. I put it on a Google Slide. There we go. And what I did after it, like these are just separate. Like I could move this move that one I typed in the words of the Nordonia see this is an element too <laughs> I just found the pictures online and after I got this set up I took a screenshot of it I pressed present wait for this to go away wait for that to go away and then took a screenshot of it once I did that I put in my phone and then I went to photo layers and that's where I did the magic of removing this black background so that it would appear like this it's interesting how that works it's usually meant for pictures but can be meant for video as well for video, having like example this character in a different background, not this but in a, imagine like a park or something like this kind of nature, you would have to do what they call, it's like a keying method or the chroma key, yeah chroma key method. but. I've only done that a little bit. It won't work for this scene. Because he has to be on a white. Just a plain background. White, blue. Like a green screen. 
you have to be in the green screen is what they it ha this is what this is this doesn't have to be in the green screen because it's just a just a photo this I just typed in see I just typed in this that even the final score where's halftime halftime that has been rotoscope as well now this is quite challenging to do especially if you're a beginner it did not take long for me to get used to this here we go the final score it was it on off on off on off we want to have it on there's the final score and where's the text the rice what happened Hmm. Oh well. That's all right. Moved over time. Well, no need to edit this. Go back to the past. But yeah, the logo was made for fun using another video software for Logo Maker. It's quite interesting how this logo was made. My session with the app had expired in order to make this thing. At least I saved it. Yep. When we look into the football games, you see... Like, I will show you the first time that I put the video background elements oh no I made a mistake by opening up the football game files mm -mm. oh no oh I messed up <laughs> this is not gonna look great yeah it can happen it does happen but again, it's already the past, and it already has been made. But it does will look funny when it has the wrong video file for opening it. Darn. <laughs> but again, it can be fixed. Because there is a way to do it. But it may take some time. Yep, this is the wrong football game that I opened. Apparently when you move files, it tends to get confused. This is like Woodbridge. Come on, show up. Well. Wait, what? Yeah, this is quite weird. Hold on, this ain't the right one. Alright. Hopefully this shows up good. Had technical difficulties. Alright, let's get the graphics. So you see this. This is the first time I did this. And you, as you can see, there's a lot of elements here. I'll show you each one. If I unlock this first element, you have this that was rotor scoped, and I can move this anywhere, even in the funny spot like this. That's the first element. The next element I did was this, 
Nardonia vs. Stull. That was separate. As you can see, I can move it anywhere where I want it to be. The next one was the helmets. Nardonia helmet, I took out the background right here. You could notice a little bit, it ain't that perfect, but it's good enough. And I can move this anywhere. Could even flip it if I wanted to. Not gonna do that. But again, well, let's just show you. Here we go, where is the video effects? How do you flip this thing? Flip it horizontally. On this, there we go. It's a backwards end. It doesn't look pleasant, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks funny though. Go back to the past. There we go. And of course the the enemy helmet. Bulldog. Stow. This one looks a bit better. Because if it has a black background. Originally. So there you go. That's how I do my special effects. Of graphics. It was quite interesting. That I've learned so fast how to do this. But again. That is how you do it. Oh there is also one. Significant of the scoring. Ah, yes, this. This is quite complicated. I only did this once because I don't feel like it's necessary to do it every time. This is the only game with this special effect graphic helmets next to the scoreboard. I can move this anywhere. I can move this anywhere. But again... I can put it in the correct area. There you go. There you have it. Where's this final score? The final score. Where is it? Show me the final score. There we go. The final score with the helmets. These are all graphics. They could have been typed. The. This. This could have been typed. On here. But I didn't know how to do it with color. Because I thought it would only work with one. Apparently that's not the. Tr that's not the case here. But I learned. This is the picture way to do it. Rather than type. The words, the winnings. There's my secrets on how I have edit these games. Hey, one more thing before I go here. This is most of my graphics that I put up. That I made pictures of. The helmets. This one I found online. It was quite interesting. You, yeah, I actually like this helmet. That was on. This was used on the last football game, including this one when we versed Cuyahoga Falls. There we go. And then you have the rest. These are the two that I have earlier. Neat. Anyone can be taught how to do this. Which is very, very interesting. It may be complicated. Because it was first used on Google Slides. And then taking screenshots. And then later on it was edited. On my phone. Mobile. Or you could use Photoshop. But I'd rather do it on the phone. Because it's much easier. And without the help of my touch pen, which is here, 
This is what I use. You could do this by hand, but this helps make it easy. Just touch the screen with this and it will work just fine. I've had this for a long time. This is this is many years old. This goes back when phones, when smartphones were coming out. iPhone 2. Yes. One of the early generations. Very interesting. Still works. Or you could use a pen that has one. Which is this one right here. Yes siree. The magic comes from this magic wand. All of, the gra all of these graphics were. Have no background. Because of this pen. And photo layers. Was the app that I used. Okay. That's enough. Of my demonstration. I hope you enjoyed this once again. Make sure you're, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so I can have more content to show you in the future. And of course, give me that like on this video. But again, thank you all for visiting this channel and I will see you in the next video. Peace.